Hi guys, um, today I'm doing something slightly different that I haven't done in a long time. I've decided not to go out on the boat this weekend because of the weather condition. It was pretty, pretty extreme temperature drops over the last sort of kind of week and last night was a, a serious drop. And uh, I kind of thought, well, do you know what? It might be too dangerous to try and launch a boat and retrieve the boat in in the, in the, in the afternoon. So I've decided to give the lures a bit of a break this weekend. But I'm joined with my son Brody. And uh, I've been running him through some of the uh, sort of kind of things that how to set up and uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, so he will know what to do himself. Will you be able to know? Probably, yeah. yeah good, it's good, man. So we stopped this morning, we got our, well, I got a coffee and he got a hot chocolate. Good man. Have you drunk all your hot chocolate? <laughs> yeah. Typical, and left me to set up. So I have half a cup here. So, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you roughly how I set up. First of all, I want to show you these here. This is the swivel stop bead. I find them actually very, very useful and, and good. And then you use the quick change swivels. Um, they're very, very handy, especially whenever you get a pike and you have it in the net. You can unclip the trace, leave the trace with the pike, set the rod down on the road. The rod's not in the way. You're not going to break a rod. You're not going to get uh, things damaged. So I'll just show you what I have here on this setup here. So, to set, I have those, these here running. So I have a, a two ounce gripper weight that runs. And I have those there, we stops there. So that protects the, the knot and then the quick change on here. And then I'll have the trace then clipped onto that. This is a trace I made. <clears throat> so it is pretty, pretty good so, And then I just have a swivel here. So I'm going to get the debate on this here, get it elasticated up, fire it out, and hopefully we'll have a fish. And uh, Brody, you looking forward to hopefully getting a, a decent one? Yeah. Good man. All right, we'll catch you in a few minutes. Cheers. So just now you're going to pick up the bait. Brody, uh, what bait would you want to try? Um, to the whole macro. You want to try the whole macro? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll get the whole macro put on and get tied up. So let's see what will happen. I've um, basically I've set up everything there now, uh, just there on the rod pod, have the three rods out, and I uh, just took a just a wee dander around just to keep a wee bit warm and um, see what it was about. And I've just discovered two things which is quite horrifying, really. One's bad, second one's bad enough. But in the reeds, the rushes, um, in there. I don't know if you can see it, I'll get another, a better um, angle in a second. There is a life ring in there, but there's another one in here. So somebody or people have come down and decided that it'd be fun to throw life rings in. Uh, it's beyond me why somebody would do that because at the end of the day, they never know when they might need them themselves. Someone could be in trouble here someday and there'd be no life rings for them. So. 
but if there was a way of me getting them out, I'd get them out, but it's all frozen and I don't think I can get them out. So, unfortunately, they're gonna have to stay there. But, guys, I know you guys that are watching the channel wouldn't do a thing like that there, but any of you that do watch it, that maybe see this, please don't throw life rings in the water if you don't need them, or into reeds or hedges or things like that there. You're basically playing with someone's life here, you know? So, just think, be smart guys, all right? There's one of them in there, I don't know if you can see it. And then, one over here. There's another one in there. No need for them to be in there. Nobody can get them there if they need to get them. So, crazy. I know there's no rope on it, but that could save someone's life. That could give them an extra few minutes, seconds, before help would arrive. Stupid people would do that. I think I got a run here, maybe. fish on here guys. Um, this is a really really strange sort of kind of take on that. No real mad dash or, or anything just little kind of pluck plucks at it. But I think it's a fish nonetheless anyway. Go get a weight behind it. Yeah. It's a fish. Didn't really want to go mad with it, like, but... That's on a smelt as well. I'm happy with that because that's the first fish of 2021. We jack. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Nice wee start, it's a fish anyway. Uh, it's the, oh! That's why it's always good to have a mat underneath your feet and try and get as low to the ground as possible. But yeah, first fish of 2021, believe it or not guys. For me anyway, so I'm happy with that. It's broke the duck. Beautiful fish. I mean, look at that markings, you know. The tail. So, I'm going to get this guy back to the water now, and hopefully a bigger one will turn up, another one will turn up. actually much fired at all it's not coming very freely for some reason no movement out of this at all not even a kick not free yeah I've snagged up on something I think here well, this, the fish has actually brought me into a snag
I think he just actually got snagged up on something. Second fish of the day. Beautiful fish. We have her. Um, let's get her back to the water and see if we can get another fish for the day before the day ends. video there I was showing you the Bridge Monkey um, Eco USB gas canister cover and um, that basically plugs into your uh, power pack or um, USB and um, it's pretty cold here this today and I have just after cooked some bacon and um, no problem to the gas at all and uh, never froze once or it was too cold or anything I just thought I had a run there but a beep but no I didn't I tried to make another video there earlier on and had to leave the whole cooking stuff there because I actually got a run and had another nice fish. So yeah, I've got the bacon cooked and uh, first time using this really and um, very, very impressed. So it's doing the job so far. Hi guys, uh, gonna call it a wrap here. It's starting to rain here. So it's really strange that all this weather has been thrown at us uh, this last past week. So yeah, we've enjoyed it. Um, good to get back at something that I haven't done for quite some time. And um, had two fish, which is a bonus, an absolute big bonus. And um, that's uh, the main thing, isn't it? Getting out and about. Well, I've been lucky enough that um, I don't live too far away from this location, so I haven't got that far to go home. Probably only about a mile, two miles. And uh, be home in front of a nice warm fire. So guys, um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. And uh, I might see you out and about, and if you're out fishing over this weekend, uh, tight lines and be safe, and uh, catch us all again soon. Cheers. <laughs>